Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When we were trying to get this podcast off the ground, we had so many questions. How do we record an episode? Where do we find background music? How do we get our show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other places that people like to listen? And where do we find advertisers? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, distributing, and monetizing your podcast. And best of all, it's 100% free and 100% ridiculously easy to use. Anchor makes it simple to get up and running. You can upload and schedule your podcast ahead of time. It publishes to all the major podcast platforms. You can easily check your stats. I could go on and on, but instead, why don't you go and get started? Go to anchor.fm slash start to join the e-commerce minute and a diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. We can't wait to hear your podcast. It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. The E-Commerce Minute, episode 316. In today's episode, FedEx Ground, now running six days a week. Yay. FedEx has announced that they will be expanding their ground operations to add a six day to their delivery schedule. The move is in response to the growing demands being put on the service due to the explosive growth in e-commerce, as well as the upcoming holiday season. Currently, FedEx delivers Tuesday through Saturday and only adds six and seven day schedules during peak season, which traditionally begins on Black Friday, although many retailers are rolling back the season to start at Thanksgiving Day. FedEx is expecting record volume this season and plans to hire 55,000 temporary workers in addition to their current staff of 425,000 to meet the demand. The rise in demand for e-commerce goes beyond peak, said Raj Subramanian, FedEx's chief marketing and communications officer, in a statement. It's a year-round phenomenon, and we are ready to meet that demand. FedEx Ground has operated six- and seven-day operations during the holidays for several years as e-commerce has grown. And thanks to strategic investments in our network, we are now well-positioned to operate six days a week in the U.S. all year to best serve the rapidly growing demand. FedEx has seen service demand explode over the last decade. Ten years ago, the record volume day was 12 million shipments. Today, FedEx handles more than 14 million shipments on an average day. How about that? <laughs> well, uh, how about that? I mean, they have to do it. UPS will probably not do it um, because their own, their corporate structures are different, unfortunately. Um, so FedEx Ground, if you didn't know this, um, and I think it's still like this, is actually you can be a freelancer or a franchise. Really? Yeah. So Ground, um, I believe it's still like that. Um, don't quote me on that. I have to look it up again. But um, I remember it used to be that the ground side, you can actually become a franchisee of it. I did not know that. Whereas UPS is fully union based. Right, right, right. I talk to my UPS driver all the time. He tells me all kinds of stories. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this is kind of interesting. They kind of have to do it. Um, you know, I think the only person that does Sundays, I think, is good old USBS and. Amazon. Amazon. Amazon is actually doing its thing too, which yeah, we so talked talk about. about. We did a story recently about Amazon starting their own delivery service. And of course, you got the innocuous, no, 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 we're not going to compete. But um, from what I hear, they're buying like thousands of trucks now to start their own fleet because I guess they just, they don't want to wait until FedEx and UPS says, OMG, can't deliver your packages. They're going to be there and they're going to say, never mind, we got this. You know, they're going to come. Oh, they're, right. They're doing, obviously, for cost, they're doing for delivery. They want those packages to be there in those two days. Like, they're doing all those things, which is, which is fantastic. And I think you and I have talked about this where we've ordered something from Amazon and we're pretty sure Amazon is delivering it because you get updates on where the package is, where the truck is, where, you know, if it's delivered, did you get a picture of when it's being delivered? And then you get a text message, Hey, it's, it's coming today. And uh, then it's delivered today. Um, yeah. We, we just had this conversation all fair, but it was, it's funny. It's like, it's like, ding, your coffee is going to be delivered today. Ding, the truck my is in the corner. No, no, you're right. That was my favorite one uh, on Sunday. Um, it was, Oh, the truck is three deliveries away from you. <laughs> And if you click on the text, it shows you a map and it shows you how close it is to your house. <laughs> and then, of course, you get the ding, the coffee's at the door. Ding, hey, here's a package of the coffee sitting in your door. You better come get your coffee. Ding, your coffee was delivered at 3 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you wanted that coffee. I hope you wanted that coffee. And then you go check your email. It's like, your package was delivered. I'm like, I know, I know, I know. I know. 
and it seems like a bit of an overkill. But uh, uh, what what did you call a chain of custody? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. And you know what? It's better than um, um, something from USPS. Sometimes you're like, "Oh, uh, your package has not been picked up. Oh, it's been delivered." Well, here's what? my favorite because I use the eBay example because I still sell some stuff on eBay, and it's like. Um, or you, or even if you order something, it's like tracking number. I just laugh, and it just says in transit, <laughs> in transit. And, and then, then it's like, delivered. I'm like, it's like still in transit, and then it's like delivered. I'm like, I don't have it. I, I don't have it. Or delivered. I'm already, I'm already eating it, and you're just, uh, it was delivered two days. <laughs> that, that's the other thing, right? Right. It's like I've already eaten it and thrown it in the trash. It's like your package is being delivered today. <laughs> and you're like no. No, the worst is it's like, oh, let me check where, where are my pants at in transit. <laughs> uh, so this, uh, let's get back to this. Story. <laughs> FedEx, uh, FedEx going six days a week is actually really good for small businesses because they don't have to worry about that gap. Uh, you know, they have that extra. They now have that extra day. Uh, I mean, it's it's going to be great for e-commerce because obviously you know stuff's going to get there. I don't know if it's going to get there faster this year, but it, you know at least. They can meet the demand, um, which, you know, seems to grow exponentially each year and does not seem to be slowing down. Correct. All right. That's a good story. Uh, you got anything else, Bart? Nope. All right. That's your e-commerce minute for today. Full show notes are at e-commerce minute.co. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy. <laughs>